Welcome to our review on concentration of a solution. The first thing we really need to make sure we know is how to convert between centimeters cubed and decimeters cubed. This is something that they have become a lot more tricky with when they're writing your questions on the new specification is they're going to give you some of the actual values in the question in centimeters cubed and they want you to work out an answer using decimeters cubed. So to convert centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, we divide by 1000. If you ever needed to convert decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed, you multiply by 1000. So remember to read the questions carefully. If it gives you a volume in centimeters cubed, then you're going to need to convert it, okay? To divide by 1000 to give it in decimeters cubed. So when they're asking you to calculate the concentration of a solution, there are two possible units and therefore two possible ways that you could do this. The first one of these is to calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. And in order to do that, all we do is the mass of the solute in grams divided by the volume of the solution it's dissolved in in decimeters cubed. So type of question we could get for this one, calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed of a solution containing 4.5 grams of solute in 250 centimeters cubed of solution. First thing to do is get your highlighter or circle or whatever it is you do to make bits stand out to remind you of the important points from a question. So the important parts here are that we're calculating in grams per decimeter cubed. We've got 4.5 grams and 250 centimeters cubed. So as soon as we see that centimeters cubed, hopefully our brain is kicking in and saying, well, we've got decimeters cubed in our concentration, but centimeters cubed is our volume. We've got to convert. So 250 divided by 1000 gives us 0.25 decimeters cubed as the volume. Then in order to work out the concentration, it's just the mass divided by the volume. So 4.5 divided by 0.25 gives us 18 grams per decimeter cubed. The second way we could be asked to calculate the concentration of a solution is using the units of moles per dm cubed. So to do this, we've got to do the amount of solute in moles divided by the volume of the solution, again, in decimeters cubed. So the type of question we could get here is slightly different. Calculate the concentration in moles per dm cubed of a solution containing 5.85 grams of sodium chloride in 125 centimeters cubed of solution. So just like before, make those important parts stand out. We're calculating in moles per decimeter cubed. We've got 5.85 grams of sodium chloride and 125 centimeters cubed. So we've highlighted the key parts. First thing, we can see centimeters cubed of the volume, but we need decimeters cubed. So we're going to convert by dividing by 1000. So 125 divided by 1000 gives us 0.125 decimeters cubed as our volume. Next step is we need to calculate the amount in moles. So to do that, we take the mass, 5.85 grams, and divide that by the molar mass of the chemical. So this is where the name that we highlighted is important. And again, the periodic table that we tend to ignore in our exams is again important to us here. So flip over the bit of paper on your desk, find sodium and find chlorine on there. And that will give us our mass of sodium as 23, chlorine as 35.5, add them together to give us the molar mass of sodium chloride. Once we've got that, we can divide our 5.85 by our molar mass of sodium chloride, and that will give us our amount in moles, which is 0.100. The last thing to do then is to calculate the concentration. We've got the amount in moles. We've got the volume in decimeters cubed. All you now do is divide the amount in moles by the volume. So 0.1 divided by 0.125 gives us 0.8 moles per decimeter cubed. Do remember that when you're doing these calculations to write down every little step of your working, 
because that way if you have some kind of a calculator fail you are unable to copy off a screen of a calculator or for some reason you can't round something then at least you're going to get some of the marks if you purely write down the answer on the answer line and you've done something wrong you get nothing so always show every step of the working hopefully at the end of this video you can now calculate the concentration of a solution in grams per decimeter cubed you can calculate the concentration of a solution in moles per decimeter cubed and you can explain the relationship between concentration mass and volume